So my plan so far is I've drafted a timetable. I know very military, um, but with my kids, they need structure. Everybody is totally different and everyone's kids is different, but for this household, Rock and Fleur definitely needs structure. So my plan is to start the morning with a dog walk with the kids at 7 a.m. just to get them up and out. And then we're gonna have breakfast and get dressed and stuff like that. And then they're going to have the body coach PE class at nine o'clock, I think. And after that, we'll start with reading. So yeah, wish me luck. So guys, it is 6.50. I am now gonna wake up the kids. And then while I wake up the kids, I'm gonna leave them to have sort of 10 minutes to stir and get out of bed while I have a really quick hit workout. So let's see how this goes. Morning guys. Fleur's room's a bit messy. Fleur, it's the first day of homeschooling. I'm gonna go downstairs and have a workout, yeah? And I'll come back in about 20 minutes to get you out of bed, yeah? Just say yes or no, because I'll leave you to lie longer, or I'll come and get you after my workout. Do you want to come for a dog walk afterwards? Fleur? Dog walk? Yeah, thumbs up, okay. And Rocco's decided to lay out his pants and socks for homeschooling, which is make and make a sweep. So, Rocco, good morning, darling. You don't need to get up now because mummy's just going to have a workout. But, do you want to come on a dog walk with me after the workout before you start your homeschooling? So, I'm going to give you another 20 minutes in bed while I have my exercise, okay? All right, love you. So that was kind of successful because there was no screaming tantrums. I was going to just quickly start my workout, but as you can see, the kids trashed the lounge last night and I've never left a lounge like that but it was Mother's Day so quick time to tidy. Okay guys so I have um, tidied the lounge Got myself some water, normally I put lemon in it as well, but I'll show you that later on. Tidied the lounge, um, I've realised that I am so OCD. I work from home most days, but I can't work until the house is tidy, but I've realised I'm going to have to relax that. Homeschooling is like my worst nightmare, so I'm going to have to relax my standards on tidying because I just can't fit it all in. So at least the lounge is tidy for now. On their rotor, the kids have been told to make their tidy their bed bedrooms. So it's five past seven. I'm gonna try and squeeze in a little workout with the body coach and then wake them up, take them out, get them out early for a dog walk, a bit of fresh air to start the day. So I've just done my workout with the body coach, feeling good. Guys, it's so important. The best way to remain positive is by working out. And I'm shocked. Fleur has got herself dressed. And you saw the before of her bedroom. Oh my gosh, is this really my child? So Fleur's tidied her bedroom. She's got the dog ready in his coat. Just open the curtains. She's got the dog ready in his coat. And uh, as you can hear, the dog's barking. Lights off, she's put her dirty washing in the washing basket. And next, it's for waking Please. up. So, um, it's a lovely day outside. We all have to try and remain positive, even though it's really tough for all of us. I am purposely starting my day with exercise before the kids get up. Otherwise, I don't think I could cope. So okay, so we're out. It's 8 a.m. I've done my workout. Fleur's tidied her bedroom. Rocco has got the dog. And we're gonna go out for a very short walk. So we can then come back, have a little bit of light breakfast before they do the body coach PE session at 9 a.m. Oh, 
That was nice, Rocco. See, it's about appreciating. Maybe the universe has done this to make us appreciate the small things, like the birds tweeting, right? So guys, we're currently ahead of schedule. This is insane. Um, so basically, their schoolwork is meant to start at half past nine after their PE lesson with the body coach. Um, but we've come back from our dog walk already. It is 8.11 and they're choosing, they're making the choice to do their reading now so they can get their classes finished earlier. So Rocco's just having his asthma pump. Um, he's going to read. What are you going to read, Rocco? The Stolen Crown Part 1. The Stolen Crown Part 1. And Fleur... then the Stolen Crown Part 2. You, can, you only need to read one this morning. And then, Flo, what are you going to start reading? I'm going to read the race course you can get. Okay, lovely. Fantastic. Right, guys, so while the kids are doing their reading, I'm about to prepare them and me smoothies to go with their breakfast that I'm gonna put a load of different things in to help boost their immune system. So this is what I do, oh, broken wine glass. So this is what I do for myself, especially if I'm feeling run down because I've got an autoimmune disease. Um, so I tend to have like smoothies and stuff quite regularly. So I'll show you what I'm gonna put into it. Right, so what I'm gonna put in, well I take, this is my box of supplements, if you believe it. So I take these supplements every day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, people do ask me, how do I always stay so on the go and whatever, but that's why, I suppose. Okay, so I've got, um, I'm about to make them both smoothies. I will put in some filtered water, first of all. Filtered water, and then I'm gonna throw in a vitamin C, 1000 milligrams effervescent keep their vitamin C levels up. Sounds gross, but I'm gonna put some turmeric powder in. I do this every day for myself, turmeric is amazing. Um, amazing in so many ways. So, I've got some turmeric powder there. That's going into the mix. Tastes a bit tangy, but they'll get used to it. Okay. Juice of half a lemon. That's going in. Again, it sounds quite citrusy and tangy at the moment, but when you add in things like bananas and stuff, it'll be super yummy. Also, really good for the immune system, ginger. So I'm just going to cut a little bit of this ginger. I'm just throwing in some more ginger, a few really small bits. And then I'm going to add ice, kiwi and banana. So we're going to have banana and kiwi turmeric vitamin C smoothie this morning. Let's see what their reaction is to the taste of it. So I'm making the smoothies for the kids, but obviously they're still going to have their breakfast. So their request this morning is peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Obviously, we were meant to be in the States over the Easter holidays, and that's not happening, so they can pretend that they're there with their American vibe of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, missing our American friends. <coughs> So progress so far, it's 8.30, the kids have done their reading, they're onto a bit of maths, they're gonna, we've done our uh, dog walk, uh, the kitchen is a tip, the playroom is a tip, my study is a tip, but that's okay, look, clothes on the staircase, kitchen a mess. And just to show you guys, let me yeah, have got some gardening stuff here as well for later on. I've got a schedule for the week, so I'm going to sort that out now while they're doing the maths. So just a little tip that I got from one of my good friends, um, so they don't fight over water bottles. I'm written on the water bottles, Rocco. Blur. So when they're doing their PE lesson shortly, they've got their own water bottles. No argument. So the kids have been really good. They've both done their reading so far. Fleur's done some rock star times tables and Rocco has done numbots. Well done, guys. Time for PE. You ready? Who's ready for PE, Rocco? Me. 
Me? Okay, let's go. So the kids are ready and waiting, ready. They've already done reading and some maths. We've had a walk, they've tidied their rooms and they're ready for the nine o'clock PE lesson with Joe Wicks. Yay! Now we're ready, ready to watch. They're about to have their PE lesson with a body coach. progress so far so we have taken the dog for a walk the kids have made their beds early this morning they've done their PE session with Joe Wicks they've done their reading they've done some maths they did some rock star times tables and Rocco did num bots um, they've just done some literacy Rocco's just done some um, literacy and Fleur's done an um, English task it is quarter past ten and they're having a break time. So they're having creative play time right now. So as you can see, they've got the Play-Doh out. It's a lovely day. So I'm gonna jump in the shower now. So hopefully I'll look a bit more presentable. I have had a shower, got a bit of makeup on, not loads, cause there's no point, but I still wanna make an effort. Uh, the playroom is currently trashed. I did, say to the kids that it had to be tidied by them but if you're gonna have slots like this of 30 minutes guys i'd now say um play time's over creative play's over and it's now time to go and do our next ta school task okay meet me in the kitchen guys time is on so it is 11 guys can we come and sit down please it's 10 52 Got a lot done so far. I haven't had time to have breakfast, even though I've been up since half past five and worked out twice, taking the dog for a walk. So I'm gonna try and make myself a coffee while they, well done Rocco. So, oh, your beautiful tree, well done. And Flo's been playing nicely as well. Okay guys, I've emailed your teachers already. So we have done the home whole schooling thing. Now the kids are allowed some downtime. Rocco's on the sofa, Fleur's in her room. And I'm going up to the bedroom to have a yoga session with my friend's yoga studio in LA, um, Wellness of Oz, remotely. I'm watching the class via Zoom. Everything's going Zoom right now. So uh, stay tuned for my yoga class. We've all got to do what we've got to do. My makeup's all over the place. So, end of day one, homeschooling. And I've got to say, I feel pretty proud of the kids and myself that I managed to cope without screaming copious times. Uh, don't get me wrong. Um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of, and I'm proud, proud of you, Fleur, today. You uh, listened really well, you got on with your school work, you helped, you tidied. It's not really the flair that I know, to be honest. But is this gonna be the new flair? Oh. Yeah. Yeah? So that's uh, day one homeschooling with me and the kids. But today has been, I haven't really shared all the other bits and pieces they were doing in the afternoon because I got distracted just because I started having a few work emails and I wanted to get back to those. I thought, oh, work emails, <gasps> it's a miracle. Um, but stay tuned, because I'm gonna try and share our homeschooling journey, kind of like a diary. Um, not every day, it's not gonna be possible to do it every day, but, oh, and I forgot to say, yeah, the yoga session with my friend Wellness of Oz, her yoga studio in LA, but she's stranded here in London, so she's doing Zoom yoga classes. So I'll put a link in um, the links, I'll put a link below. Um, but please, if you like today's just sharing our homeschooling journey, like, hit the like button, hit subscribe, share it, comment, whatever. Yeah. Hit subscribe, guys. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Yeah.